Okay, I'm ready. All right, hey everybody, welcome to the I'm third episode. Right. I am so into I know. this. I'm, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, ready. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the third episode of Explore OKC. Today we're going to be talking about some of our favorite local coffee shops. My name is Ian Weston and I am the digital storyteller at Southern Nazarene University and I'm standing here with Bree Morrow. I'm the resident director of Bracken Hall, our mostly underclassmen girl dorm. And we are standing in front of the coffee shop right now. This is a great place to grab coffee, tea, whatever floats your boat, um, study, meet with friends, just kind of hang out. It's a hub for all of that. We're here at Vintage Coffee. That's about six miles away from school. It's about a 10 minute drive, uh, not too far right off the highway. Um, but I don't come here that often, but Bree absolutely loves it. I like it because it's really unique in that it has really natural ingredients. Um, the atmosphere is really good for studying. Um, the people are really relational and they'll have conversations and be engaging with you. Um, and then it's really great because they also support local art. Yeah. This place because they use all natural ingredients um, and everything that they use and they make in-house, but then also with all of their vendors, they want to make sure that they're using natural ingredients as well so that it's um, that everything that they serve to you, you can feel comfortable about it, you can feel good, you can feel healthy about what you're putting into your body. We're at Cuppies and Joe, uh, which is in the Uptown District on 23rd Street. It's kind of a local staple. There's a bunch of old homes that go down 23rd Street and people have just built businesses in them as they go. Uh, this one happens to serve cupcakes and coffee, and it's just a lot of fun. I personally do a lot of studying here, but I know that Brie takes a lot of friends here quite a bit. Yeah, so the space is really just set up for um, communal meetings. So a lot of the tables set up have multiple chairs around them, like this room has a couch, a couple of chairs. Um, it's just a really good space to meet and talk with people. So I had a drink suggestion for Ian. I told him to get the chai latte, milk base, no coffee, which is different for him. What do you think? It's pretty awesome. So I typically just drink black coffee and don't like to drink my calories, but I would drink this. This is worth it. Mm -hmm. We're at Urban Tea House, right down the street from Cuppies and Joe. This is still on 23rd Street in the Uptown District. And for all of you non-coffee drinkers, this place is great. But I know that whenever you try something new, it can be a little overwhelming. Uh, but here at Urban Tea House, they make that pretty simple. So they have a how to order menu um, and it walks you through exactly all the things that you need to know. So temperature, your milk, your sweetener, what kind of um, caffeinated tea, non-caffeinated tea. And the baristas here are really helpful at asking all the questions that you need to be able to choose exactly what you want. Yeah, so when you're on 23rd Street, just go to the back. There's a giant parking lot back there. You can come right on in. You can study here. You can do your homework here. You can bring friends. Um, come in, say hi, talk to the baristas and they'll make this experience really simple for you. We're at Prelude uh, Coffee Roasters or yes. what's Prelude yeah, Coffee, Coffee Roasters? roasters. Uh, this is on 8th Street, which is in near Automobile Alley. And uh, for some of you people, like some of you college students, you don't really, you've gotten into coffee or maybe you haven't learned enough about coffee. And uh, you go to a menu and you have no idea what you're talking, like what you're looking at. So you've got cappuccinos, lattes, espressos, grittados, horchata, whatever that may be. So um, I'm standing here with Joel and would like to know a little bit more about what those are. Yeah. So, um... You know, basically all the fancy drinks you see on a menu are just basically espresso with milk. And uh, from macchiatos, cortados, that's just uh, an Italian name for the amount of milk it is. So a macchiato is going to be like one ounce of milk uh, with like a double shot of espresso. While a cortado is going to be like two ounces of milk, double shot of espresso. Cappuccino is going to be the same thing, but six ounces of milk. So it could easily get overwhelming, but just know it's just about milk proportions. And if you want something to really try and experience, like an espresso by itself, or if you want like something like high volume where you can like sip on. So you would, most people would like want that. So uh, like a latte would be great. And throwing in flavor with that would also be a great thing if you just wanted to sit down and do some work with your friends or do whatever. So like an espresso. So if you're a new college student and you haven't gotten into coffee yet, but you like you're living on energy drinks and you want to get <laughs> yeah. out of off of energy drinks, what's kind of like a good process for getting somebody into coffee? Oh man, um, just going to a shop, not being intimidated, and ordering like a latte. There's no shame. No one's gonna judge you. 
Um, I think like the idea of like a pretentious coffee shop is kind of popular in culture, um, but we really try to deconstruct that idea where it's like coffee can be the most approachable thing, and that's kind of where we get the name Prelude from. It's like the beginning of a story and the beginning of a you know set list or whatever. So even just ordering like a sweet latte, like a vanilla latte, it you know it does sound really basic, but at the same time it's like really good, and that's why people order it so much. So I would say start there and. Um, you know, adding sugar and cream is not a bad thing. <laughs> Everyone has to start somewhere. I started there. Um, and eventually you just kind of wean yourself off. And even if you don't wean yourself off, it's completely, it's completely your preference on whatever you think is good. So if you go in and your natural instinct is to get hot chocolate, get a latte. Yeah. Lattes are respectable and good to go. Yeah, if you like hot chocolate, try a mocha instead, which is just, you know, a latte with chocolate and espresso in it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for your time. And yeah. seriously, this is an awesome space. Yeah. So. We're at Cafe Disco. So. We're at Cafe We're Disco. We are at Cafe <laughs> Disco. This is just a small little shop that you can go to, walk around whenever you're done. Um, maybe go into the museum or go into the Civic Center or go into an arts festival down there. Um, you can get coffee here, but there's something that Brie absolutely loves that you can only get at Cafe Disco. So. They've got lots of macaroons, all different colors, really fun snack to get. Something that's just a little bit different than what you might normally get. Um, they're also a really great photo op, too. <laughs> so if you need your Instagram pictures, or man, we're getting cheesy. Yes, so. we are. <laughs> Come on down. So, but, uh, <laughs> No, it's not a coffee shop that you're going to come study at, you're going to come talk to, but if you want to pick up something, pick up macarons, pick up coffee, and go walk downtown while the weather's nice, this is your place to come. We're going to take you down uh, about half a mile to Stitch Cafe, where you can go, uh, you can go study there until midnight. Uh, one of the only places that you can really do that in Oklahoma City. So let's go check it out. All right, Brie, we are at Stitch Cafe, which is downtown about a little bit less than half a mile down from Cafe Disco, right where we were at. Um, there's the Jones Assembly right next to us where they have a lot of cool uh, acts come in, artists from around the world. Uh, it's just a, something new, something that we haven't had in Oklahoma City before. And, uh, but Stitch Cafe. So this place, what makes it really unique to me is how late it is open. Uh, it's open till midnight, Monday through Friday. So if you want to do homework, uh, you can come in. They'll do batch brews on coffee until midnight. They have food right now up until 10. They may change that later, do some late night options for food. And uh, But there's something that as soon as you open up this menu, because if you haven't figured out, Brie is gluten free. So something really exciting about this. Yeah, so what's really important to me is that um, it's easy to order food um, in, with what I need for my allergy. Um, so they have marked on their menu vegetarian options, um, gluten-free options, keto-friendly, nuts, vegan. Um, it's all already marked on their menu, um, and they're really helpful to answer any questions, um, really knowledgeable. So um, that's a really cool thing if you are more sensitive to certain um, food items or have an allergy or a preference. Um, it's already um, really easy for you to find what you need. Yeah. And what's really cool about this place as well is that the owner is actually a graduate of SNU. You'll come down here and find out that there's some people who have started businesses. The Hall's Pizza Kitchen in Midtown is open, is uh, owned by uh, two SNU grads as well. The Hall's, if you can't figure that one out. But uh, no, this place is great. Good food, good coffee. If you want more than just coffee, you can come here. They do teas as well. Open late, a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, come check it out. So Connected to Stitch is the plant shop. It used to be located on Film Row and now it's here. Um, you can kind of see it in the background. They have all kinds of different plants. It's really green back there. Um, this is super helpful for those of you coming to SNU who won't be able to have a pet in your room. You can absolutely have a plant. Um, so there's so many to choose from. So thanks for joining us today, uh, going around Oklahoma City, visiting some of our favorite coffee shops. Uh, just wanted to talk about a few places that we didn't get to go see. One of those would be on Automobile Alley, there is Coffee Slingers. We actually featured it in one of our other episodes, but uh, that place is great. They have a parking lot right behind, easy to get to, go in, people are super nice. Uh, it's a great place to study on a weekend, and it's just kind of cool. It doesn't feel like you're in Oklahoma City. 
but there's a place that you like down in Guthrie. It's located in Guthrie. It's a really great um, space, really friendly people. Um, and then there's also higher grounds. It's like five minutes from the school um, and a really great environment to also study or meet people. Yeah, Hoboken is kind of like one of those destination spots that people have. You go out to go just see their coffee roasters. And Guthrie is a really cool, sweet town. People are super nice. It's got that old town feel, but still feels really urban. And uh, so if you're just bored one week, don't have a bunch of homework to do, go out there with your friends. Pick, pick a week that they have a festival and go check it out. But uh, thank you guys for joining us. And just uh, one last note, when you're out, uh, just remember that you're representing Christ, you're representing SNU. So be good to your servers, be good to your baristas, uh, tip well. And if you can't tip well, just be nice, be a good patron. So thanks.